I'm Richard Karras, Vice President of our Omniverse Developer Platform here at NVIDIA, and today we're going to talk about virtual worlds. First, let's get the word metaverse out there, what it means. We've heard it all over the place recently. Well, quite simply, the metaverse is the network. It's the network of the next generation of the web, which will be 3D. Now, we're all excited about it, as are many, because the idea of being able to go from one virtual world to another virtual world seamlessly means that we're going to have a lot more capability in what we do and how we do it. Now, here at NVIDIA, we believe virtual worlds are essential for the next era of AI. They'll be used for things like training robots and autonomous vehicles, digital twins where you can monitor and manage a factory. Even whole cities will be done as a digital twin, as we've seen with some of our customers. And the big thing that we're working on is Earth 2, which will be making a digital twin of the entire Earth. 3D workflows require teams to hold an arsenal of extremely specific and wide range of skills. These artists, designers, engineers, or visualization experts are often part of the hybrid workforce working remotely or spread around the world. Each skill and expertise requires its own system setup, from laptop to data center, physical or virtualized, and each discipline requires its own software applications. Today, there's over 36 companies selling over 50 CAD tools with countless more being launched annually. And these are specialized CAD programs for specific industries, regions, or tasks. Every major design software company has its own independent planetary system of add-ons, adjacent products, and customizations, and they are often incompatible. This leads to workflows plagued with tedious import and export, often causing model decimation, mistakes, and time lost. This has often forced customers to unwillingly adopt integrated products from the same vendors, which can limit productivity, creativity, and the ability of teams. Heavy 3D production pipelines are becoming increasingly complex as artists, designers, engineers, and researchers integrate technologies like global illumination, real-time ray tracing, AI, compute, and engineering simulation into their daily workflow. In M&E, the growing expectation for high-quality content means that firms are spending upwards of 6.5 billion compute hours per year rendering content. In AEC, advanced technologies and perfectly physical, accurate visualizations are quickly becoming crucial to an industry that is expected to breach $12.9 trillion in the next year. Today, a 3D artist typically works sequentially across multiple applications like 3ds Max for modeling, then Substance Painter for texturing, and finally Unreal Engine to arrange the scene, exporting large files many times along the way. Now with Omniverse, artists connect their apps and then compose the combined scene using Omniverse Create. And once in Omniverse, an artist can draw on NVIDIA's superpowers, like physics, which lets artists use true-to-reality simulations that obey the laws of physics, and RTX Render to see their scene rendered in real time fully RTX ray traced or path traced. Omniverse also lets you collaborate with other artists and from across the room or across the globe, connecting their favorite apps into a single shared scene. Changes made by one designer are reflected back to the other artists, like working on a cloud shared document, but in 3D. This is the future of 3D content creation and how virtual worlds will be built. Now, how are we gonna do these things? That's what Omniverse is all about. We built Omniverse to be the connector of these virtual worlds. You can think of it as two parts of a journey. The first part is the creation, where you create content or virtual worlds using tools you're familiar with today, connected live to the platform of Omniverse so that you can collaborate with creators and designers across the globe. The second part is the operation of those things that you've created in a digital twin scenario so that you can manage them in real time and understand what's taking place in the synthetic world and how it relates to the physical world. Omniverse hasn't been possible until now, and there's four main points that have made that possible. The first is RTX technology, the ability to have real, true-to-reality simulation in real time on the laptop, all the way up to servers and even in the cloud. RTX is the technology at the very core for photorealistic real-time rendering. The next thing is being able to scale these GPUs together so that we can handle very large and extremely large data sets. 
So whether you're working on a project that's an environment or a project that's an entire city, or even the grand project that we're working on with Earth2, we have the ability to scale this RTX technology so that the true to reality simulation can scale with it as well. Now the third key thing is USD or Universal Scene Description. Pixar's Universal Scene Description is the foundation for Omniverse. The open source 3D description and file format is easily extensible. USD can be thought of as the HTML of 3D. Originally developed to simplify content creation and the interchange of assets between different industry software tools, USD began in the visual effects industry to enable collaboration across globally spread teams. Today, it's becoming widely adopted across all visual industries, including architecture and engineering, manufacturing, product design, and robotics. With open standards from USD and leading edge acceleration from NVIDIA, the Omniverse platform harnesses both broad support for third-party software vendors across industries and the power unique to NVIDIA technologies such as ray tracing, simulation, and material libraries. It will enable consistent 3D experiences of virtual worlds no matter what kind of industry they're in or no matter what kind of content is being presented. So you'll have a seamless ability to teleport from world to world. And the fourth key point is the AI revolution. AI allows us to do many things with these virtual worlds. We can use AI to train robots in the virtual world. We can use it to simulate true to reality things like weather patterns and how that might affect things that we're building in the physical world. It even allows us to do things like create a time machine where you can look at the past that's taken place and use that information to project what may take place in the future. And you can even change the variables of that so you can have a more complete understanding of all the things that may or may not take place in the physical world by studying them in the digital world. We built Omniverse to run on RTX. That means it can run on a laptop, all the way to a workstation or a data center and beyond. And most recently, we announced OVX, a computing system dedicated to Omniverse that can start with a workstation and scale all the way up to a superpod, handling enormous amounts of data to have true to reality simulation at any scale. Omniverse is a platform that serves developers, that serves creators and designers, and even enterprises. Now for developers, it's free to develop on and free to deploy Anything that you create for Omniverse, whether you're connecting with an extension or connecting to an existing app or modifying the application or even building applications on the platform. Omniverse for developers is a rich and robust environment with modern tools for you to create right out of the box. The next thing is Omniverse for creators and designers. This is where designers can create and work together in the tools that they're already using and connect to Omniverse and be able to collaborate with other artists and designers, whether it's across the room or across the globe. You have the ability to work in real time and work in the virtual environments as if you're all together at the same time. And we have Omniverse Enterprise. Omniverse for Enterprises is for those companies who are leveraging the platform for design collaboration and building and managing digital twins. Omniverse can be thought of as a network of networks. And what we mean by that is you can connect existing applications that you're using today to take advantage of all the things the platform has to offer. You can extend the platform to customize it to meet your needs, and you can even build applications on top of the platform. And we've seen a number of companies that are already doing this. We have 82 connectors as of today and more coming all the time. They're connecting their asset libraries, their applications, and all sorts of things like that. Plus, we've had over 160,000 downloads of Omniverse for individuals who are taking the product and using it in a wide variety of ways. And we're seeing amazing work being done that's shared on all the different types of social networks that are out there today. The Omniverse stack is built for maximum flexibility and scalability. By building and leveraging Omniverse, developers can harness over 20 years of NVIDIA technology in rendering, simulation, and AI. They can integrate it into their existing apps, or they can build their own apps and services. Now, once you're connected to the platform, you get to harness all of the power that we've been talking about with Omniverse, like physics, to understand how things are going to behave in the digital world. So using things like water, smoke, fire, and adding them into the workflows that you're currently using. For example, let's take a look at how Siemens used the power of Omniverse to quickly perform physics-based super-resolution simulations on wind farms that accurately reflect real-world performance using NVIDIA Modulus Physics ML models. Total worldwide wind energy capacity currently exceeds 750 gigawatts and is growing faster than ever with an additional 650 gigawatts to be added in the next five years. 
For companies like Siemens Gamesa Renewable Energy, optimizing the configuration of each new wind farm is critical for getting the most out of their investment and reducing costs for consumers. When designing a wind farm, it's critical to place each turbine so as to minimize the effects the turbines have on each other due to the wake that they create. Accurately modeling the wake requires high-resolution, high-fidelity simulation data that is specific to that wind farm, such as the geographic location and the terrain. The gold standard for generating this data is the large eddy simulation shown here. But to run just one iteration for a single turbine can take 40 days on a 100-core CPU. And with so many iterations needed to develop an accurate model for a specific site, using CPUs is impractical. Using NVIDIA Modulus and NVIDIA Omniverse, Siemens Gamesa has been able to reduce that 40 days to just 15 minutes, approximately 4,000 times faster. This is accomplished by running the model at a lower resolution, and then, with a physics ML model trained using Modulus, to enhance or super-resolve the data. And the results are functionally equivalent to having run the model at full resolution. Let's take a look at the same data presented in a way that clearly highlights the coarseness of the low-resolution simulation. Here, they look like pixelated blobs. In the super-resolved flow field, you can see the finer vortex structures. Now that we have the simulation data, we can build an accurate weight model for the site and optimize the placement of each turbine. Thousands of iterations, accelerated by NVIDIA GPUs, are run as part of the optimization to achieve the maximum power output for each farm while minimizing the cost. And the impact is huge. When using NVIDIA Modulus and Omniverse for a typical 1,000 megawatt offshore wind farm, optimization can provide power to supply up to 20,000 additional homes and to do it at 10% lower cost. You got many other types of capabilities that you can do. The key thing here is that with Omniverse, you extend and enhance your existing workflows. The second part is the operation or the digital twin. A digital twin is a physically accurate simulation of the real world in a virtual environment, and it brings with it all sorts of capabilities. All types of industries will use digital twins to understand how they're manufacturing something, how the operation of that device will take place afterwards, and all kinds of scenarios that they wouldn't have been able to imagine before. There are many steps to building a digital twin, and today Omniverse Enterprise customers can start with the building blocks. First is full fidelity visualization. This is true to reality 3D simulation of what's taking place in the virtual world, identical to what's happening in the physical world. Enterprises can, for the first time, aggregate 3D data sets from disparate design and CAD softwares and visualize them in real time. And they can leverage the Omniverse's platform multi-GPU rendering for extremely large data sets. You can also build custom 3D tools and pipelines. You know, one of the most difficult constraints of 3D simulations is the disconnected, disparate, incompatible tools and data sets that teams must connect. Omniverse is an easily extensible development platform that provides building blocks for enterprises to build their own plugins and tools to enhance and extend their existing workflows without the need to rebuild their entire existing pipeline. Lastly, many of our digital twin customers already have robotic perception systems in place or are planning to deploy them. Robotic systems require large amounts of physically accurate synthetic data to better train and optimize their performance in the real world. With Omniverse, enterprises can leverage the platform to generate synthetic data that is indistinguishable from reality, reducing training time and increasing the AI system's accuracy in the real world. We have a large number of customers across all types of industries who are already using Omniverse to connect their 3D workflows. Customers like Amazon Robotics and BMW are using Omniverse to build digital twins of their warehouses and factories. Companies like DNEG are using Omniverse to do pre-visualization for the work that they're doing in the media and entertainment space. Another company, Ericsson, has used the Omniverse platform to build a digital twin of a city. This helped them to understand how they're gonna propagate 5G antennas across that environment. Foster and & Partners and KPF are using Omniverse to build full fidelity, physically accurate simulations of the buildings and environments that their architectural work is being done in. These are just a few of the companies using Omniverse across many types of use cases, whether it's factories of the future, media and entertainment, or visualization of landscapes we have yet to imagine. Now in this final clip, we're gonna show you how Amazon Robotics used Omniverse to build a digital twin of their warehouse and be able to work with that in real time. Take a look. 
Every day, hundreds of Amazon facilities handle tens of millions of packages, with more than two-thirds of these customer orders handled by robots. To support this highly complex operation, we deployed hundreds of thousands of mobile drive robots and associated storage pods, which allow us to store far more inventory in our buildings than traditional shelving, and which help us move inventory in a safer, more efficient way. Key to the scaling has been our ability to simulate these buildings and understand their performance before we build them. Let's take a look at how NVIDIA Omniverse is helping us optimize and simplify these processes. At Amazon Robotics, we are able to create full-scale digital twins of our warehouses in NVIDIA Omniverse, helping us optimize warehouse design, train more intelligent robot assistants, and gain operational efficiencies. In Omniverse, we are uniquely able to aggregate data sets from many different CAD applications and visualize these massive models in full fidelity realism, enabled by Omniverse's RTX accelerated ray tracing, materials, and physics. Digital twins are an integral part of future warehouses and factories, enabling continuous integration and continuous delivery. With each new software and layout optimization, we can test in the digital twin before releasing to the physical warehouse, preventing any system downtime or failure while maximizing operational efficiencies. Next, packages of every shape, size, weight, and material move rapidly through our fulfillment centers. We use NVIDIA Omniverse to better train autonomous robotic sorting and picking solutions. Training these robots' perception systems accurately enough to prevent system failures requires massive amounts of high-quality data, but often the data doesn't exist or there isn't enough. When we introduced more reflective tape to our packing materials, the perception systems failed. We retrained the models with physically accurate photoreal synthetic data generated in Omniverse indistinguishable from reality, saving weeks of retraining time and increasing model accuracy. Finally, with the digital twins of our facilities and the ability to quickly and accurately train robot perception systems, we can also better configure human robot workstations, simulating opportunities for better employee ergonomics. At Amazon Robotics, NVIDIA Omniverse Digital Twins are helping us as we reimagine warehouse logistics from end to end and capturing a significant operational efficiencies which enable us to deliver more value to our customers. Omniverse is available for customers and developers around the world. Omniverse Enterprise is on NVIDIA Launchpad, which provides a free two-week trial where you can harness the power of Omniverse on NVIDIA certified systems. You can also request a free 30-day evaluation period. And finally, Omniverse for Developers is available today at nvidia.com slash omniverse. It's a free to download and free to develop on platform. This has been a brief overview of some of the features and powerful capabilities of the Omniverse platform. I thank you very much for your time today, and I'd like to end with showing you some of the amazing work our customers have been doing with this platform. Let's take a look. Omniverse technology will transform the way you create.